David Boland from Racing's Inside Track and I'm at Copper Beach Stables with Michael Halford. How are you, Mick? Morning, right, David. How are you? Ah, good, thanks. Mick, you're very busy. Uh, things are getting shaping up now for the flat season and you have plenty of horses to go to war with. Yeah, plenty happening, thank God. It's just a busy time of the season. Um, we've got plenty of horses riding out, so we um, kicked off well there last weekend and everyone's down there on the turf, so plenty to look forward to and set full steam ahead from now on. Um, you have a great record up in Dundalk and you've done well again throughout the winter like you have done for the last few seasons up there. Yeah, we had a great great winter again and uh, Dundalk's been very lucky for us. Hadn't got as big a team as normal up there but the results were good and we, we uh, did heat with Joseph for the championship again and uh, Connor Holman wrote a lot of winners for us there this winter. Shane was in Japan so between that now and Dubai we were kept busy. Didn't feel the winter going by. That's good, and uh, like you said, back at Leopardstown last week, he had a double um, Irish correspondence, is that, I think yep. that's his right, yeah. um, first time out, and he won very impressively for you. He did, yeah, he's a smashing big Teofilo Cold on by Ballygallan Stud, um, he's only the second horse we've trained for them, and the other horse won as well, so he looked impressive, time will tell how good a race it was, but uh, he had a lot of style about him, we like him a lot, hopefully he'll go on to better things. And Paul Rooney had the other winner to for the double that day as well. Paul's been a, a long owner with you. Yeah, Paul's been a wonderful owner. He's been with us the best part of 20 years maybe yeah. now. Uh, we've had a lot of success for him. And uh, Caddyman, he bought him off me recently, uh, along with another horse called Vincey. So purchased two of them lately and the two of them won the first runs for him. So hopefully he'll have a lot of luck with them and a lot of fun with them. And as I say, he's, he's been lucky for us, but he's a great owner and I hope they're very lucky this year. That's good. And uh, you've Big owners, you've always had big owners in the yard, but Aga Khan and Gadolf and everything, so you've you've plenty of well-bred and good horses for the year anyway, with good owners. Yeah, we're, we're very lucky, we, we support a lot of very good owners, as you say, Gadolf have a big team with us, as has the Aga Khan, and uh, people like Michael Enright, and lots of owners, Bally Gallon still is some of us now, and some of the old reliables, Eddie O'Leary is a couple there, and uh, we have a very good owner from China, Newman, we trained, had good success for last year called Mr Zhang um, okay. he's got a strong team with us now and a good friend of his from Singapore called Eric Cole so quite an international bunch yeah. of owners but that's the way the game has gone and uh, we've lots of exciting horses for this year that's good and uh, many two year olds for this year Mick we'd have about uh, maybe 20 to 25 okay. um, we'd have a strong 20 a couple of more backward ones there that we've done a little bit with and maybe backed off now but uh, some nice ones, some of them starting to show promise and we're only starting to get stuck into them now. So there won't be too many real early ones for you anyway? Not particularly, I'd imagine it could be a month or so before I'd have our first runners but uh, some of them we like now, there's a few uh, few decent enough sorts among them I think. That's good and like you said uh, Connor Hoban had a great uh, winter up in Dundalk while Shane was away in Japan but you have some very good young lads as well though. Yeah we're lucky, we, we've always had a great time with apprentices uh, we've Conor McGovern claiming five pounds this year. Conor's had a good winter. Uh, plan on using him a lot now through the year. He's got plenty of experience. Very cool head on him, and he rides well. And young Robbie Smithers rode two winners last year. Robbie still one left to go to lose his ten pound claim, and yeah. he'll be taking good advantage of that this year as well. He's done well over the winter. He's matured well in that, and uh, it's just difficult enough to get opportunities for the young lads to get them going. But. Once we get them going, I think they'll fly. That's good. And um, if you were to pick, say, one horse, Mick, whether it ran last year or, or, or hasn't ever ran, is there one horse that stands out that a horse for people to follow through the year for you? Um, it's hard to pick one. I, I have some, you know, we, we've plenty of horses I think will win races. I, I think for Hannah, she ran a blinder the other day in the Guineas trial. Yeah. I think she's a high class filly. She wants real fast ground. She hasn't had it for a while. I'd, be, I'd have high expectations of her. And um, I said the car, Irish correspondent one the other day. I'm sure there's more to come from him. So. Where, where, where's his aim next? Where do you think he'll run him you again? See what, what he improved from the run. Now yeah. we give it a week or two. We supplemented him yesterday at the second entry stage for the Irish Guineas. So he, he may go that road, but uh, we, we'll see what the first first run done for him first. And I take it that wasn't a surprise though. How impressively he won then was it? No, we're always a little bit surprised when ours went first time out yeah. because we're not particularly hard on them and we like to yeah. let them do it themselves. But he uh, he's a bit of class about him and uh, the penny dropped with him when he got to the track. So uh, hopefully there's, there's more to come. Well, that's brilliant, Mick. Well, listen, best look for the season ahead and uh, hopefully plenty of winners. Thanks, Dave. Look forward to it.